Hi guys, thank you for joining me for a special, <laughs> another special, uh, shave and scent of the day, and I will not be shaving and there won't be any scent. Um, well, I mean, there will be scents in soaps that I'm going to show you, but. Okay, so this is the um, five, five for life, um, five artisan shaving soaps uh, or five artisans um, that you can use for life. And um, I was tagged by Melly Mel Shaves. Thank you, brother. Melly Mel. Check it out. Melly Mel Shaves. Great channel. He does. Um, he does shaves and scents, um, kind of like me, I guess. Um, and then he also is one of the He's one of the co-hosts. There are two of them. They're both co-hosts. Yes. Uh, of BBS Live on Instagram. Please check them out every other Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to have a good time, if you want to talk shaving, bourbon, and everything except um, religion and politics, you should check it out. Because I'm going to be there every week, every other week also. So thank you, Mel for tagging me for this. I appreciate it very much. So the categories for this are scent, selection, sentimental, value, and performance. Um, and so I'm going to give you the artisans in each of these categories that I just have to have. I can't go without them. There are a ton of honorable mentions in here, but I can't add them in there. And I'm sorry because there are a lot of artisans that I love doing business with but I have to do it this way. So, okay, we're going to start with scent. And, okay, here we go. Ariana and Evans and Eleven Shaving. Kaizen is beautiful. Um, Asian plum is beautiful. Asian pear is beautiful. I, there, there's so many beautiful scents. Eleven shaving barbershop is beautiful. Um, Sicilian lemon is beautiful. They also have a lime and basil that is beautiful. And I can't pick both. So... The one that leaves the screen last is the winner. It was subtle, but I'm sure you guys got it. All right. So that is my scent. The next um, is selection. And there are two that really fit into this category, but the one that I'm picking for this P-A-A, -A, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and there are none better than Dapper Docs. Oh, lilac and fig. Mmm. Boy, that is a good one. All right, next, we got Sentimental. And... This can also fit into other categories within this, but my first artisan soap, Dr. John's Arctic Hydra. And for anyone that watches this channel knows that the um, Hydra aftershave is one of my absolute favorites in my top three. And I won't tell you which one it is. Maybe it's one. Maybe it's three. I mean, I guess it's possible that it's two also. But anyway. And they've got some great scents too. Um, a really good performance. Um, flowers in the dark. That is extremely high on my centometer. You don't have a centometer? Man, you should get a centometer because... I don't know why, but you should have a centometer. All right, value. I think everyone knows this. What, what am I going to say? What are you going to say is the best value in wet shaving? I'll give you a hint. 
Oops. No, that's right. So I have said that this brush is the is the best value in wet shaving. And those of you that have seen a lot of my videos are going to know exactly what this is right off. Oh, let me turn that label around. But Sterling, Sterling, number one, it's a 5.8 ounce pour. All other, you know, basically all other artisans are pouring like four ounces. Um, almond cream, it is the stuff. Man, I love almond cream. But they have a ton of selection also, which made this, um, you know, pretty much a tie with PAA. Um, but anyway, this is a 5.8 ounce pour, and these are like 13, I, I think now 13.75, I think is the current price on it. Man, you can't beat that for value, for value. Super slick, really, really good shaves with this. Um, and this is, I think this is my second or third um, artisan soap that I ever bought. Um, and I, I have plenty of these. No, not just almond cream. I have lots of other scents from them as well. Really, really good stuff. Even if Nate Burgermeister hates Sterling, I love Sterling. I think they're great. Okay. Performance. There are so many fantastic artisans out there putting out extremely, extremely wonderful performing soaps. We all know this. You know, I think this all just comes down to a personal, um, you know, the personal opinion of whoever is doing this. But, well, of course it is. Because, you know, this is my personal list. <laughs> but performance, for me, and there are other artisans that are really close to this. Um, there's not a huge difference between this and others. But for me, the number one performing soap has to be grooming department Mallard. The Mallards, uh, this is the, the duck fat um, formula, and it is Greek. Um, also, the scents on these. This is the chai. And this one is the amore. Mm, and they both have really great scents. One really spicy, one more citrus forward. Really beautiful stuff, but in my mind, for my technique, for my brushes, that's number one. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Millie Mel, for tagging me. You my boy. I'll see you guys on the next shave or tag or, you know, whatever it is next. Peace.